let's talk about hydroponic gardening. Hey everybody, welcome back to Horticulture Geek. I'm Ray and thank you so much for joining me today here on the channel. And today we are actually at my parents' home and we are looking at their hydroponic garden setup. Um, this is something that my father has worked on um, and is doing really, really well for them. And I thought I would just show you what is going on and what they're growing in the hydroponic setup. Um, so they are currently growing peppers and tomatoes in their hydroponic setup. Um, and in this setup, it looks, you know, like any other uh, raised bed or container gardening system, except for these buckets are not filled with soil. They are um, filled with a hydroponic uh, medium, a rock medium, um, and they are full of water. And so these plants roots are planted right into that medium um, and water continually is flowing through the system um, and you can see the piping on the ground so the water is delivered into the pot um, and is held at a level and it drains out and then the drain comes back to a tank in the ground here and then there's another tank over here that keeps the water level topped off so that it is a self-contained system um, so uh, weekly they fill up their tank um, and then that is all that is required of the system so once a week they fill up their tank they put um, fertilizer nutrients into the water and then other than that the system takes care of itself and all they do is come out here and tend to the plants and pick the produce let me flip this camera around and we will look at this system a little more up close Okay, so I thought we would start right here because these two buckets, the plants that were here, and they had cucumbers in here, and those are already done and they've been pulled out. So we can look really good into the bucket here. So you can see this is the medium that they're growing in. It's just a hydroponic medium. It is not soil. Um, and so, and this is the water line. So water comes into the system here and your plants come out of the holes here. So this particular setup, you can do two plants per bucket. Um, and then like I said, the water filters through that system and then it drains into this and returns back here. So that is how every one of these is set up. Um, and then the other thing that they're doing is these are indeterminate tomatoes. You might be wondering, What's going on with these tomato plants? Um, you can see that there is a support system and strings. Um, and this is just a way to grow tomatoes. So if you don't want your tomatoes to be big, woolly, overgrown bushes, um, if you choose an indeterminate tomato variety, that means that that tomato plant will continually grow. It doesn't have a top height that it caps out at. Um, then you can keep that plant pruned up. As you can see here, my parents have done this. So you can see where the branches used to be. And as the plant has grown um, and the older branches have weakened out and piddled out, they've just trimmed those back and just let their center lead continue to grow up. And they just keep it tied up to the supports using their clips. Um, these are readily available clips. You can order them on Amazon. You can get them at home improvement stores, big box stores, all that kind of stuff. So these are just clips and there's several way, varieties of these. And they just clip into the string and the string is onto the support system. Here's some cherry tomatoes on this one. And we are in the end of October here, folks. And this is still growing incredibly well. Um, so this is just a real special area. Okay, I took the lid off of this barrel in the ground just so you can see because I know some folks might be curious. Um, and so all this is is a pump in the bottom. You've got your water source. The pump brings the water up into this black tubing. And then like I've already shown you, that tubing then branches off down the side here. And then the drip lines come up into each pot. 
so when the system runs this is not a continually running system um you know some hydroponics depend on the system continually working so some hydroponics depend on the water being constantly flowing this system does not require that um, the medium that we're using in here holds on to the moisture so this system just kicks on and off throughout the day it keeps the roots of these plants well hydrated and any excess moisture just funnels back out of the pot and back into the main water source and then that's also really good because um, like i said your fertilizer your water is um, your water is, is mixed with your fertilizer. They use a water soluble fertilizer. Let me turn this around. So they are using a water soluble fertilizer that it stays in this water, like I said, once a week. They tap off the system with fresh water and they put in their nutrients for the week. Um, so what that's doing is, is that's just a constant fertilizing water. So every time the system, the pump kicks on and puts fresh water, nutrient water into the pots, that excess water, you know, the plants aren't gonna be able to take all those nutrients out of that water right then and there. <clears throat> and so with the system like this, what allows you to, what that allows you to do is all those, that excess moisture also contains the excess fertilizer and nutrients. All that's just gonna come right back to the base of the system. And then the next time the pump kicks in, it's gonna put that back through the system. So you're never really losing those nutrients for your plants. Your plants can take them up when they need them. Whereas a traditional drip system in the earth, if you're running your fertilizers and nutrients through a system like that, once it's in the dirt, it's in the dirt. If your plant doesn't get it, your plant doesn't get it, and it's just gone. You know, it dissipates out into the earth. So this is a closed loop system. So everything that goes in stays in and is constantly pulled back through, which allows these plants to have access to all the nutrients they need at all times, which leads to beautiful, healthy plants that have just been wildly successful performers this year. Um, they have put out so much energy uh, into their tomatoes and peppers this year. They've had huge harvest with those. All right, guys, I think I've told you everything I can tell you about this little system. I hope you've enjoyed seeing it. Um, this is something that obviously if you have the space at your home garden that anybody can do, um, all of these parts and pieces were just bought off the rack or ordered online. Um, and uh, my parents assembled this system themselves. Um, there are other YouTube channels out there that give you instructions to set up these types of systems. That's how they did this. So this is something that's easily accessible to many gardeners as long as you have the space um, and resources to do this. Um, and it really is a very successful way to plant your crops. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed this quick video and just seeing this um, growing style. Um, hopefully it has inspired you and maybe you'll get out there and give it a try. If you do give a system like this a try, let me know, tag me in an update video or shoot me an email and let me know how it goes. Um, but again, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video um, and maybe learned a little something today. All right, guys, I think I'm gonna close out. I just do a little walk around the garden and let you see um, the garden from all angles and perspectives, and that'll wrap us up. So until next time, from this garden to yours, I wish you all the best and happy gardening.